All right, this is Zorba's Dance, performed by David Garrett. I transcribed this by ear this morning at around 4 a.m., and so um, I'm going to make a tutorial very quickly before I go to bed. My children are in the room next door. If you hear any thumping, that's probably them. Nobody's getting murdered yet. Just kidding. Okay, so uh, let's start off from the beginning. Woo. So, first tip. I should have done this. Try to figure out where the fifth is before you start. So if you cheat and you just kind of like check it, you know, go like this, and then say, okay, I'm ready to start. So now you're ready to start. And maybe vibrato it. There we go. Okay, so we're in progress. So all those are all sixths. And then now we're going into thirds territory. Now all of these little, this little um, six, uh, the the <laughs> sixteen notes that are tied in with a six. So we're going to play thirds. Now the best way that I found is that if you take your elbow and bring it a little bit to the, let's see, uh, I think it's left. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, if your hand turns in this way, then you're doing it right. So because you want your fourth finger to be able to reach the fingerboard quickly. So if your hand is turned this way, there's really a minimal distance. If you're over here with your hand pointed out like this, then it's very hard to reach. Which I guess I can do, but it's really, if you're going to play it quickly, it's much easier just to have it right there, snug against the, uh, the body of the violin. And so um, try that. Also, make sure that your fingernails are short. Next time you see a violinist, grab their hand and say, or don't say anything, just grab their hand and look and see if they have short fingernails. If they have short ones, they're a serious violinist. If they have long ones, they're probably not practicing all that often. So, and probably somebody's going to accuse me and say, well, I practice, but I have long fingernails, and I'm going to say, you can't play thirds. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, let's go to uh, measure 10. That's the beginning, and then he goes up an octave. This is a lot easier. Now, here comes the fun part. So he has uh, a lot of thirds here, so be ready to have your hand turned in this way. And you have the audience kind of annoyingly clapping. I hate when audiences do that because they're always off. And you'll notice in the video, they actually stop clapping when he starts going really fast. It's, it's almost like David Garrett's like, ha, you can't even keep up with, with your hands. Uh, you can't clap as fast as I can play. Anyways, um, so he, you know, he has all these doubles and there's really nothing to it except the fact that you have to be able to move very quickly. So by the time you get all the way down to uh, 47, or actually 43, Now, I did, um, I'm not exactly sure if these are the right notes, but at 54, I put open strings. I think he does that because then, in order to get up to third position on 55, to hit this, he's actually going... You see how I'm using the open strings to get up there? So you can use that technique almost anywhere you have an open string and then you have to shift. Shift during the open string and that will get you there before you before you have to hear the notes in the next um, the next position. Okay, and then uh, you know, it keeps going. Uh, Seventy one is kind of brutal. So slow motion. This is one of the ones that I hate the most. Is in first position trying to get from one three to two four because if you touch the A string, like so, I'm playing trying to play on the D string. If you touch the A string with your pinky, it'll kind of like make this weird squeaky sound. So you have to really, really place your, your finger very, very well, precisely so that you avoid touching the other strings, otherwise you're gonna lose the sound. Now we're at 
measure 78. These are all thirds. They're very, very hard. Now he's got these really fast notes. So if you're going to practice that slowly, just make sure that your this hand, the right hand, is moving at the same pace so that all the notes sound even. So not, otherwise it sounds uneven. So this hand should be focusing on making it even. This one should be focusing on hitting the notes, placing them at the exact moment that you're going to hear them or just slightly beforehand, because your finger has to be down before you move your bow, otherwise it's not going to sound the correct note. And then start slow, speed it up gradually. I mean, that really is the best way to do it. I can't think of any shortcuts that are going to work. You might work, it might work during practice, but as soon as you get into performance and your nerves start to go, you're going to be able, not be able to do it unless you practice slowly. Okay, so, uh, 87. One, two. I think it's funny that he yells out one, two. It's probably because it's so fast, he has to make sure that the beat, the beat is known to everybody else. Anyways, 90. Um, I wrote these as individual notes. Uh, which is fine and dandy if you're doing it at that tempo. But if you're doing it at the tempo that David Garrett takes it, it almost sounds like you're doing like it almost sounds like you're doing six as double stops, but you know, don't worry about that too much. I mean, what else can you do besides if you're going that quickly? That's just how it kind of turns out, but that's how I notated it. Uh, 92. Uh, at 96, I'm just using two, three all the way up. Just because it's easier when it's uh, that fast. And then at the very end. So first, figure out where that is. Because you're going to want to hear that slide, because that's how he does it. And um, so like, look at your fingerboard and figure out where that is physically, how your hand feels, right? And then practice going from these two notes, putting these two notes down, and sliding all the way up to where that was. And you can slide very slowly like this. Not a performance, in practice. And it might takes it might take a lot of tries, like maybe hundreds, maybe thousands. And eventually you'll hit it. I still haven't hit it. Got it. And then he does a right hand pits, left hand pits, like this with your third finger. So that's how he does it. That's why he looks so calm when he does three pitches in a row is because he's alternating between... Right? Okay, uh, so that's kind of how it goes. Um, I'm going to try to play it... Well, I don't know if I can play it through tonight. I'm just maybe a little too tired. Uh, another time, perhaps. But um, good luck with playing this. And um, no, no, I do not back down from a challenge. So I'm going to try to go from... How about 81? Here we go.